It's, it's a bit like an election stump speech, isn't it? You know? <laughs> We're practising for an election. Oh, okay. All right. In that case, I'll promise you everything and deliver nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm here as uh, in my in a hat that I used to wear. I've left this job as uh, director of digital engagement at the National Library. I've got a similar role at the National Museum now, though. So um, questions of digital literacy are, are relevant in slightly different ways. But I'd like to concentrate on the National Library, um, particularly because that'll be most relevant to most of you. Um, at the National Library, we've got an average staff age of 47, which is slightly higher than uh, other ages uh, of libraries across Australia. Um, but that doesn't mean that those people are digitally illiterate um, or that you cease to be digitally literate at a certain age or that you're more digitally literate at another age. Um, the, the biggest growth in uh, uh, sales of iPads, for example, is in people over 60. Um, they're probably finding things to do with them that are relevant to them. Um, at the library, we had a really interesting role where uh, in that age group of 47, we've got a lot of young people and a lot of older people who are sort of making that average uh, quite odd. So in the middle, we, we miss out on a lot of people. And what we find with the younger people is that uh, they have shorter time spans with us. They may stay one, two years and then leave, um, partly because we may have resource challenges, but also because they can't see a career progression for them. So one of the things we've been trying to do is sort of switch around that mentoring relationship, whereas some of the older staff members might be offering mentorship around uh, traditional library skills, um, the younger members can offer uh, skills that, f that, that are more digitally born. And uh, some of the initiatives we've run have been a thing called Digital Zoo, where we said to people, here are some iPads, uh, just go and play with them. And uh, play gets harder as you get older. Um, older people, I think, uh, feel like play is wrong or a waste of time. So younger people are sort of showing our older people how to uh, play with iPads, how to download an ebook, how to just look at different apps and things like that. And then we also had an initiative which was based around digital confidence. Um, this was a label that we put over things that said, here's how uh, we want to offer you information in training. We had some of these where we brought in wonderful uh, whiz kids from the outside world, third parties, who came and said, here's what social media is. But the most successful ones that we had were those where a member of the executive stood up and said, here's my iPad put it on the screen, showed people the apps that they used and said, here's how I use them every day. Um, and people could see how this was relevant to their jobs. So. I'm talking, but also the other challenge we have is our patrons. Our patrons are getting older. Um, and often our patrons in the library, are, particularly in the National Library, where we don't have the same kind of direct pub public contact that other sort of state libraries may, um, we have a, a much older audience and our younger audience of university students who come and study and use our resources, 90% of the 16 to 24 year old uh, demographic are online every day and somewhere. Once you look at people over 65 who are our other big user group, that falls to about 66%. Um, and we've got a challenge around, you know, trying to keep up with our younger people when our staff are older. So. Um, one of the things we've found around that our patrons are interested in as we offer information sessions and things like that is um, relevance to them. Uh, there was a study completed by the Tinder Foundation, um, not to be confused with another Tinder, uh, in the UK who are about digital inclusion. Um, and they said that 82% of people who weren't involved online said they're just not interested. They don't really see how it's relevant to them. So part of the thing that we're doing with older people is to try and say, there is relevance for you. You know, iView is the way in Australia you watch uh, TV through iView, um, which is online now. Um, uh, we heard a great example from Singapore about uh, newspapers and the way viewing things online means that you can alter the size of text, which is a real benefit for older people. Um, but in, in Trove, I, uh, we mentioned Trove earlier, which is a collaboration uh, between several state and national libraries in Australia. We house um, resources for several uh, places. But um, one of the big interested groups are family historians. There's a large group of people there who are in their 60s and 70s. Um, it's got a huge kind of wide spread of people who use uh, Trove and do text correction for us. We do a simple scan and then people come in and uh, adapt that for us. We've got a lot of people who do two or three corrections. Come in, see an article, that's not the way you spell my grandfather's name. But then you've got uh, a core of about 100 people who uh, edit 
records into the hundreds of thousands, and I think one of the top correct correctors, and again, with Trove, things keep moving, they had edited 1.2 uh, million articles. Um, so that is someone who's going through looking at an awful lot of content for us. And it's, it's a digital volunteer thing, but it's something that people are doing because they're interested in it. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking at the older demographic on my table. If you come and talk to me, you could just be talking about older people, but I think in the spirit of optimism that someone said, we should talk about them as the booming grey audience that uh, is, is moving up into libraries. Um, so I'd like to talk about those opportunities and I'll also talk to you about two uh, great resources, uh, one through the Tinder Foundation and one through the GoDigi initiative too, which are ways that you can uh, give your patrons to self-serve information. So that's it from me. <laughs>